Uh, what's the culture like in Chicago? I'm talking about recent times, uh, two or three years out. But in general, I've seen a lot of interviews with uh, Chicago cats, but I've not seen a lot of religious or re religion spoken on until the re past two or three years. Uh, is religion a big thing in Chicago, in, in the urban community at least? I mean, growing up, yeah, because, you know, when I was with my grandma, she always went to church. Facts. Shout out Same to my grandma, because she definitely make me go, you know. <laughs> facts. Facts, facts, facts. Um, another piece of the culture I want to talk about was um, the female rappers in Chicago and also in general. I saw Joe Budden say here recently that it was over for them. He said that the female rappers had their run, and now it's over for them. He, he literally said that. And it kind of was shocking to me. I'm like, bro, they still doing their thing. That's what I'm thinking. What's, what's your take on that? Uh, yeah, female rappers be doing their thing right now, like Sexy Red. She, she going hard right now. Shout out to her. I met Sexy Red, too. You feel me? So. Uh, oh, cool, cool. How was yeah. Sexy Red as a person? Uh, pretty kind or kind of rude? No, she, you know, I'm backstage at a party, you know what I'm saying, backstage with them, so it's different. She ain't walking back there, like, coming, she coming as herself, you know? Oh, dope, 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 dope. She just had a baby, but she's back in the in the spotlight again doing her thing, so shout out to Sexy Red. Yeah, that'd be going crazy. Um, another person that, that's went viral recently... And they're trying to say she's an Illuminati and all this other type of stuff. Um, uh, the lady who was supposedly shot in the foot, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, I saw a video of her drinking some liquor that had a snake in the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. And, everybody, and everybody's saying, oh, it's demonic, it's Illuminati, this, this, and that. Do you think that the Illuminati is even real? Let, I'm just keep it. I'm going to be frank with you. I think I don't I, know. Like, do you think that Illuminati is really real? Shit, I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know. You know, I be watching it, but hell, I don't know. Shit, I really don't know. That is I'm going to ask you a tougher question then. If they approach you with with that elite bag, is you joining up? I ain't doing nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. You just got to be part of the elite team. You open the doors. You close the doors. You got the key to, to the to the entertainment industry. Man, you joining up. I feel like I got that in the way already, though, because people are aware. People already know when I walk up on them. Facts. People, you, Facts. Every time, how, many, how many times I just told you how many celebrities I met and seen them more than once as I'm out? Facts, facts, so, facts. So you really don't even need the Illuminati sauce. I mean, you don't even need it. <laughs> shit, if they coming with the bag, nigga, and shit, it ain't nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Orlando Brown talking about it recently. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Orlando Brown was saying that um, the Illuminati is real and saying that they control Hollywood and they control Disney and they control radio and they control all this other type of stuff. I don't think it's the Illuminati. I think it's just the executives, the big dog executives, pull, pressing the buttons and uh, opening and closing called, doors. I think it just boils down to marketing again. Big, that's a big thing. But some some stuff you can't market yourself to. Well, you might be able to market yourself to nowadays. Listen, but listen, in the past, here goes some, some, some sauce right here. You could market yourself on Say Cheese and Drake follow them. So. Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm Fact. saying? Like, you could do that shit independently. Facts. Right. Okay, speaking of independent, and do you think the independent route is the best route to go in 2024? Or I, I, I still see these people taking yeah, deals I from rappers. The, so. I just think the interview with Offset, it was a real. And he said that right now, and it's, it's easier to just, he said, man, you just keep going. And uh, you keep going. He said they're gonna come with that bag because you're doing the numbers, you know? Facts. And he said it's not like no deals now, it's per song, per single. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Man, the record labels have changed a lot, though, in the past five or 10 years for real. 
um, I saw a post yesterday that said um, uh, Spotify is only paying point zero zero three cents per stream, and and there's a lady in Congress trying to get a bill passed to where they're gonna start paying a a penny per stream. She said that that you have to have eight hundred thousand streams to make fifteen dollars an hour uh, as an artist. Is that a bit crazy to you, or is that is that just what it is? That's what it's been. Shit, we've been streaming for years. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I, I I understand y- y- y'all. You got the streams, but there's a guy out there named JoJo or John or whoever who's living in his house who got a dream. Uh. I don't think he can make it out uh, with, with, or financially getting point zero zero three cents a stream, man. Sure, I, I don't think that's fair. Hey, you better call the Illuminati there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> mm-hmm.